Hello chaps, John with you again and it's time now to have a look at the figures. Um, in the last update, if you remember, I did the uh, glass coating on the gun and I said I'd go on to the figures. They took they took a lot longer than I thought they were going to take. I thought I'd get them done in the night. Seeing as I was only just getting them painted, I wasn't, um, I wasn't going weathering them or anything like that. But they took long enough, you know, you did, oops, it is, you take your time and, and, and you know, it's, uh, don't rush anything, try not to rush it, and um, I didn't, and it took me two days, just over two days to get them done, and uh, that's about three hours a night, not just the normal two, so they did take quite a long time, but it's worth it in the end, it is worth it in the end. Now these figures, they're the uh, figures that came with the kit. They're all 70s mould um, Tamiya figures, so we're not expecting the best of uh, quality in the figures. Um, and remember as well that this is me doing the painting, so don't forget expect the best of quality in the painting either. <laughs> I'm not the best of painters, I don't profess to be uh, an artist or a figure painter by any means, by any stretch of the imagination at all at all. But, um, I find that if I just take my time, use a, a, a nice thin brush, I use a 0 2 brush on the uh, details, so I use a size 1 brush on the actual, you know, the, the, the main colours, um, and, and not too much paint on the brush, that's the thing, not too much paint on the brush, just a little bit, you might have to do, say even a strap, you know, just on, on his strap going across his chest, that'll take two 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 dips in the paint. You know, um, no. The more expert you get at it, you probably get that in one and you know, nice, clean, steady hand. I, which I don't have. Uh, I do not have a steady hand when it comes to these. Uh, I mean, it took a little bit of touch up. I had to go back over each one and you know, tidy them up a bit. But uh, overall, I was, I, I'm happy with how they. Oh, excuse me, belches. I'm uh, happy with how they came out. Um, they still have to be weathered, okay. A bit of weathering on them, and they, they should come up even better again. So I'm I'm happy with the figures. Um, here's our officer, okay. Now, as you can see, once I take my hand away, that flesh colour is actually flesh colour. But for some weird reason, when I put my hand there, they go to a kind of a uh, more of a yellowish hue to them. They're nice and pink when I take my hand away, and in reality they are they are a nice pink colour. So whatever the the background of my hand is doing, it uh, it doesn't like it. Okay. Here's our motorcycle rider. One of the loaders. I have their shells as well to finish off. The, the, I just have the tips of the shells to, to, to paint up. I just want to get the colours for them right, which I'm not quite sure of yet. I'll a little bit of research and I'll find it very, very fast. The internet is brilliant these days for, for, for your research. Um, and you, you can get your colours quite, uh, quite accurate with that. No, I, I, I'm not going for perfect accuracy, but I want sort of a bit of realism as well, do you know what I mean? I know that they're not all going to be, you know, I, mean, I use gold on them because I don't have brass, but gold, a bit, a little bit of weathering, and the gold is just as good because brass and gold is very little difference. The actual colour is the same really when you think of it, it's just the gold is just a little bit extra deeper shine, but, um, sure. We'll carry on with the gold anyway and just get the tips of them right. Okay. There's our loaders. Right. Colours I use them. I'll get one now that has everything done to them. Okay. The uniform is done in field grey. Um, I'll give you the number of that now. Field grey is XF65, XF65 field grey, right, I used a flat back, 
flat black on his boots is webbing and the straps right flat black flat black is xf1 okay for his uh, bread bag for the bread bag i just used the uh, xf88 that's because it was the nearest color that i had to what the, the bag is okay um, for the canteen on the the bottom part of the canteen I used flat earth which is XF 52 on the top of that I used dark green which is XF 61 on the on the, the cup part of the canteen and then uh, German grey on his helmet and on his um, gas mask canister. Uh, German grey is XF63. And finally on the uh, the handle of his knife. And I didn't do this guy. The one guy I pick up, all the other chaps have done the handle of their knife. So I must go back over that chap. See the handle and the knife there. I used f uh, NATO brown. And the one guy then I pick up thinking I'd everything done. I haven't his, 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 the handle of his knife done. And it's uh, NATO Brown, which is XF68. So I'm going to put him to the side and remember to do his knife. Okay. Uh -huh. No, motorcycle itself, the little zoom dap. Right. Um, I used XF88 uh, for the main colour of it. XF2 flat white for the number plates front and back native brown for the um, the bags for the grey there on the engine I used uh, light grey XF80 okay that's what I used on the engine um, I mean once that gets a black wash that will darken it up and fill in all the other little grooves and things to make it look nice and flat black then on the um, on the on the do I remember what it's called this piece here see it there the black piece okay and I also use flat black on the hand grips uh, foot grips and the wheels okay and the last color then I used in that was the, for the the base for my rust on these exhaust pipes. I use my chipping colour, which is the flat mixture of flat iron and NATO brown. I made up a little, uh, little, t little, uh, little tin of it. And dark iron is XF84. Nice colour to get, actually. They're just the dark iron on its own, it comes up really good. It's, uh, it's a great colour, a great base colour for uh, weapons and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so with a grand range of paints there. So two, four, six, eight. Nine different uh, Tamiya colours involved there in, in, in painting of the figures, and uh, yeah, they came out. They, I'm, I'm happy with how they came out. So the next step for these now will be to give them a gloss coat. Um, once I've finished with the gloss coat, then I will be uh, giving them a, a bit of a weathering. Okay. So while they're drying, I'm going to go back on and do the gun. I've got the uh, weathering to do on the gun and I'm going to do a bit of uh, oil dot filtering first. Yes, a bit of oil fil dot filtering and uh, blending in. The last time I did this I did it wrong. Um, I didn't keep make sure that my, my, my blending in brush was, 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 was kept clean. And uh, another thing then is to go over the whole lot then with a dry brush. So I didn't do that and that's how it didn't end up too, too well. Uh, didn't follow the proper steps. So if you don't do it properly, you are not going to get the proper result. Simple as that, like everything else. Um, Carry go through the, the, the steps, the proper steps, and you get the proper result on them. So I'm hoping this time it'll work out for me. Uh, so I'm going to work on the gun. So if you want to see what I've done on the gun, join me tomorrow. Yes, join me tomorrow for the next update. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified as soon as I have the next video up. So with all that said, uh, I hope you've enjoyed carrying along with this series, the series on the um, on the German 88, on the classic uh, 70s Tamiya kits. 
I'll be with you in the morning. <laughs> well, actually, be in the evening, be in the tomorrow night with the next update. And uh, in the meantime, enjoy your own modelling. Uh, stick with it if you're, you know, if you're a beginner. Um, if you go back to some of my earlier videos, you'll see how uh, how basic they were. And I'm, you know, I'm learning different techniques and I'm moving along with them. And I'm getting, you know, I can see myself improving by by doing that. And uh, but from watching other people and watching how they do things, and uh, you might not get to follow a per everything that a person does, but you might get one or two hints from them, and say, "Oh, I'll, I'll try that," or try the whole lot and go, "Well, no, that bit worked and that bit didn't." So you know, it's all trial and error, as they call it. So until the next time, lads, this is John signing off. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe. Enjoy your modelling. And don't forget, go out and buy yourself a kit. Build it and enjoy it. It's John signing off. See you soon. Take care.